Hello guys, thank you for joining in in this Kriara kill guide. Uh, for my sake I'm gonna bring all the three uh, different methods combined into one so I don't need to do three different trips. But I will definitely showcase right now three different setups which in my opinion works quite well depending on the method that you're gonna use. Okay, now let's get into it. So for this setup as you see, we use the Saradome in legs, but we don't get damaged. We will drop them just as the mid-roll rope as well. We're gonna just AFK it with protect ranging and nothing else. With this setup, give or take, I will kill about 30 AFK. Sure, they're not the fastest, not at all, but, but definitely worth your while if you want to AFK this method. So to actually reach Kriara, we have to use an armadillo cross, well, just a regular crossbow will be fine. But since we have an armadillo one and a metro capital, we can jump over. The monsters are now gone, so we can drop the Sara item, the monk's ropes, and the mitral. So you watch if somebody is here, since we're an Iron Man, we watch here, so nobody's in. Protect for ranging. Eagle Eye, and the first method is going to be the lazy method, like the AFK method. You want to run around here. In my opinion, this corner is by far the best corner, since it's super close towards the altar, if you need some prayer in between everything. So therefore, you just have it. This is about it. You can just wait, and AFK is totally fine. As you see, since we have Armadillo on, we have pretty much quite a decent tank and a little bit of DPS build. We don't get too much damage at all. You can either debate whether you want to have the blowpipe for the minions, or that you want actually the Kodai for the barrages. But that's totally up to you, depending on how much money you want to spend and how long you want to sustain. My method is about give or take 30 with this method, I think. So it's not too bad. Okay, sure, the kills take a little bit long. But I, I want to not heal and just show you guys how much we can heal back, if that makes sense, at this point. So we're losing about 70 HP. We're cutting it close here. If you want, you can do a special attack in the hope that it's that now. Yes, it is. Whip the blowpipe, attack the major. You can use your special attack to heal back a little bit as well, if necessary. And here comes the real work. As you see, there are already mushrooms on the ground. Potatoes, so that's very nice. You can do your body off if you want, but theoretically it's plus, with this setup a plus 10 give or take, so it shouldn't be needed. But for just, just extra damage, why not? Or accuracy, I mean. But that was method 1. If you want to actually use the altar, now is the time. Bone to peaches for the bones. As you see we have bones, bone to peaches, boom. And it heals about a 9, 8 to 9 I think. So the sustainability is quite strong in this setup. So for this method we're gonna use the flinch method which basically is one hit compared to one hit of Kriara. So you're gonna hit, go under, hit, go under, hit, go under consistently. Just like you do with Pendles or Kriara or for that matter pretty much everything in God Wars Dungeon besides Silly. So honestly not a bad method at all, it's just 
more sweaty and uh, you know personally preference for me is the AFK way but it is definitely worth to try it out oh we have a little bit of server lag So the nice thing about this is once you want to eat you don't really get damaged because you're already underneath him which is in my opinion not too shabby at all That was the kill. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and follow me on twitch.tv slash quality content stream.